So how about this one? Write x is equal to t plus 1 over t and y is equal to t minus 1 over t as a Cartesian equation. Well, if you saw the last video, then I showed you an example where you weren't able to write either the x equals or the y equals as a t equals just a function of x or just a function of y in order to use the same method that we've been using for the past few times. Okay? And here is another example. I cannot rearrange either of these to get t equals either a function of x or a function of y. Um, so it's just not going to work. But maybe there's another way. Maybe there's a construction that I could use uh, and a format that will work. Well, for specific examples like this, you can employ methods that will eliminate particular parts of the equation. So if I look at these as two parts, two things that I can work with at the same time, what I could do is I could say, well, if I look at x plus y, then that's the same as t plus 1 over t plus t minus 1 over t. But of course, the 1 over t's will cancel, and I'm going to be left with just 2t. So I've currently got the equation x plus y is equal to 2t. Now, I haven't solved the problem here because I still have a single equation that has an x, a y, and a t in it. Okay? It still has that parameter in it. So if I look back at the two equations again, maybe there's a way of now eliminating the single t's. And what I could do is I could get x minus y. So subtract y from x. So x take away 1, I'm going to have t plus 1 over t. Take away t minus 1 over t. Now what's going to happen is that I can get rid of that bracket and put that as a plus. The two t's are going to cancel, and I've got 1 over t plus 1 over t, which is 2 over t. So I now have x minus y equals 2 over t. Now, I have two equations here. Now, it wouldn't make sense to do something like the automatic, uh, oh, I'm going to add them together, because what's going to happen is I'm going to get back to my x equals. Okay, So I'm not going to add them. But if I'm thinking about trying to eliminate the t's, what I could do is I could see, well, if I get 2t and I've got 2 over t, then it makes sense to multiply those two things together, because that will eliminate the t's. So if I multiply these two equations together, I'm multiplying the left-hand sides together, and I'm multiplying the right-hand sides together. So I'm going to have x plus y times x minus y, so x plus y times x minus y, is equal to 2t times 2 over t. Now, 2t times 2 over t, the t's cancel, and I'll get left with 4. And so this is now a Cartesian equation where I have eliminated the t. I've eliminated the parameter. Now, if I expand that bracket, you could also write that as x squared minus y squared is equal to 4. Okay? Which is actually the curve of a hyperbola. Okay, so if you've done some further maths before, then maybe you recognise that shape of curve. But essentially, um, this is one method that you can use. And some equations that you start with um, that look very similar but have this plus minus difference, you can use this similar technique in order to get there. But if you met this in the exam, um, it's likely that it's going to lead you through the process uh, to get to this, okay? So 
Um, you don't have to learn lots of new techniques here, but just be aware that there are these other techniques that can get you to the Cartesian equation.